I did a little more work on the uh, uh, MC Simulator, that, that program I called the Night Rider program uh, that came from a uh, web page listing I mentioned in my other video. Uh, this guy created a program and toggled it in the front panel and he gave us enough of a uh, source code or pseudo source code um, but I had to wonder um, how can you load this into the simulator without having a program toggle switches for half an hour um, every time in order to get that program loaded back in and I figured I might uh, I might learn something uh, in the process um, and so I figured out that uh, there was a uh, Z80 assembler that comes with the um, um, Z80 pack, which is the uh, uh, Z80 simulator, which has the MC simulator and the uh, Altair simulator in it, as well as the CPM simulators. Anyway, um, what I had to do is take his listing on the web page and um, run it through a bunch of Unix text utilities and try to get uh, what would be a valid um, source code for a um, 8080, I thought, or Z80 assembler uh, program on the, on the system to be able to uh, compile uh, that software. And uh, after doing that and finding out that I had to convert it to 8080 assembly, um, I had to do quite a bit of, of changing of the uh, uh, mnemonics of the, of the opcodes of the, of the program um, from 8080, which um, the Z80 was an improvement on that CPU because Z80 came after 8080, and for copyright reasons, they had to um, use different opcodes and, and, and things like that in their uh, assembly language. So I had to convert them and uh, come up with the same uh, results when you program it into memory as his program does. Um, quite a few uh, problems occurred uh, getting that to work and uh, I had to keep going back to uh, something called opcodes.txt which I had um, which uh, is a listing of the uh, 8080 and the equivalents in Z80 instruction sets and the ways that they get entered into a uh, assembler uh, program for an assembler compiler. And so I corrected uh, all the problems that I ran into, including some that were driving me crazy, like you had to do um, uh, zero FFH in uh, some instances that are just FF. Um, uh, let's see what else. things had to be, uh, be changed. There were some parentheses missing in the in and out statements, stuff like that. Um, anyway, after solving a number of problems, I finally was able to uh, get it to compile um, with uh, the Z80 assembler, Z80 assem, that uh, uh, the guy that made this package, um, Z80 pack, provided he wrote his own uh, Z80 assembler. Um, so it's under Z80 sim. It's called Z80 sim. And we want to do uh, night writer program dash Z80 dot sim. compile without any errors. All at the bottom you see pass number two is zero errors. So now we have uh, added already back to compile again. Um, a hex file which works. The bin file for some reason is still not working but I'm going to figure that out. But I spent a lot of time getting this far and now we have uh, Nightwriter program.hex. So now if we run 
and say sim dash x, which means load a program, right dash writer dash program dot hex and it should load into the right memory location. Start zero. And 3A loaded 3B. That looks correct. Here's our uh, nice front panel uh, implementation of the MC computer, which has loaded that uh, code into that simulator, ready for uh, hitting the uh, power on button. And if we click reset, that should put us in memory location zero. We should be at the start of the program. We click run. Notice I didn't have to toggle it all in. Lights are going to be going too fast right now for uh, us to really see until we click some of these uh, buttons over here, which uh, put numbers in the computer that slow it down. And there it is, without having to toggle it in. All my work, hopefully uh, someone appreciates that. Yeah. Mm -hmm.